Martin Chiroy and his wife say they imagined the worst when they heard the school bus their five-year-old daughter was riding on had been in a rollover crash. We cried tears of pain and sadness knowing her little girl was there, not being able to help her, not knowing how she was doing or if she was hurt. Today, the family brought stuffed animals to this memorial at Tom Green Elementary School in Buda. It honors the pre-K boy who was killed on the way back from a field trip to the Bastrop County Zoo. Investigating officers with the Texas Department of Public Safety say a concrete truck veered into the bus's lane and hit it head on causing the bus to roll over. Chiroy says his daughter is very lucky to have only suffered scratches and bruises. When we picked her up on Friday, she was in shock. We had some family that came over to visit her and she didn't really want to engage. I'm not sure if it's from the trauma or shock, but by the next day she was looking a little more like herself and she would tell us a little bit about what she experienced. We took her to the hospital to get checked and today we went to church to thank God that she was still here with us. The Hayes School District bus did not have seat belts because it's a 2011 model. The district started buying buses with seat belts in 2017 when state law required it. Were they safe enough inside the bus? Are these buses still safe enough? Today, parents visiting the memorial questioned whether seat belts would have made a difference in a crash that killed one student and has two more continuing to be treated at the hospital. About 40 of the district's 200 buses are older than 2017 and don't have seat belts. If they're going to be any kind of a field trip, that it needs to have the bus that has the seat belts. This dad says he doesn't know what to think. He says he heard the bus driver's seat belt had to be cut in order to get her out of the bus. We reached out to the Hayes School District for an interview today, but they were not available. Sí, lo pensamos. We definitely thought about it. This was actually her first time ever riding the bus and first field trip. For us personally, we would like to encourage her to ride the bus in the future so she can conquer this trauma. I know life can be over at any moment, but we don't want her living with that fear. Above all, we want the best for her and for her to not live in fear. School district officials say they hope the DPS accident reconstruction investigation will give them more information about whether seat belts would have made a difference for the young boy who died. In Buda, Betty Cross, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.